Hello, so we'd like to look at some uh, review questions on statistics from Algebra 20 Trigonometry. So here we have uh, <clears throat> x values and frequency of those values. Now, let us see what they're trying to uh, find here. St uh, population standard deviation of these scores and how many scores will fall within one standard deviation of the mean. Then what we need to do is we need to put them into the calculator first. Let us try to do that. So I'm going to go for stat. Edit. I'm going to clear previous tables. All right, so here we have 140, 145, 150. Oops, it was 145. 160, 170, 180. 194. All right. Now it was 4, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 1. All right. So, uh, how are we going to get the popular uh, standard deviation and the mean? We all, uh, all we have to do is go back to stat and calc and go to the one variable stat. And then L1 comma L2. Then here L1 becomes the x value, L2 becomes the frequency. Once you press enter, you can see that the average was 175. Our population standard deviation was this one, so we get uh, standard deviation is 16.23. Uh, so the fact that we are looking for one standard deviation away that means we are looking for the values of x that are greater than uh, 176 minus 16.23. Then we are looking at about uh, 140.77. All right, uh, that's one. And then less than, adding, adding those two over here, then we end up getting one. Uh, 73.23 so anything below 173 becomes this one anything above 140 in fact it has to be greater than 140 that means it will be this one so these four values so we end up getting when you add up these four values it would have been total 10 so 10 would be our answer for this one let's look at number two here X and Y are two different uh, uh, topics. We're given down. Uh, they want us to plot this uh, scatter plot of these scores, and then write an equation of the line of best fit. Okay. Now then, let us try to find the coefficient of correlation, and ultimately find uh, put this one in. So what we're going to be doing is this: we're going to go back to stat, edit. And we're gonna uh, for the x value we're gonna for, uh, put in L one so we get we have seventy five, seventy eight, eighty eight, ninety two, ninety five, sixty seven, fifty eight, seventy two, seventy four, eighty one. Now. Here we have 81, 73, 85, 88, 89, 73, 66, 75, 70, 78. All right, and then uh, since we're going to go for the scatter plot, uh, what we like to do is this press this one and then we like to put, uh, 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 put it on x will be the l1 and y will be l2 that's great now we're gonna go for zoom stat which will be zoom I believe it is number nine oops all 
I'm just going to type in number 9. And that's the value that we end up getting. All right, so uh, how are we going to look onto this one? If you set the window, then it will tell you the values of x and y. So you can set them up and then try to sketch it. Now, uh, but they want us to find the equation of the uh, line. So then in this case, we can uh, do the regression. So here, we're going to get the step calc linear regression which is number four then this is the value that we end up getting so y um, find the equation and then to the nearest hundredth so we are looking at y equals nearest hundredth will be here which is 0.62x plus uh, 29.18 that becomes our equation now, I'll find the coefficient of co uh, correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient will be this value. And predict uh, to the nearest integer on test y for the who students who, uh, who scored 87 on the uh, x. So that all we have to do is here 0 0.62 times 87 plus 29.18 then the value that we end up getting is this one so and they want us to push to the nearest integer so it will be 83 that's basically what we end up getting all right let us move on here we have x and y linear regression equation okay project the number uh, to the new case for 2009 x value has to be 2009 all right so let's try to look into this one together so I'm gonna put this one into L1 and L2 just like before Clearing, clearing the tables. All right, so we have one nine 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 two thousand two thousand one two thousand two and four forty four fifty seven three six nine. 351. All right. So if you are to, uh, so what we can do is zoom flat, uh, zoom, uh, zoom stat, then those are the values that we end up getting. And if you are curious, then we can simply go for a uh, window. These are the window values. What's happening now? Oh, in fact, I'm sorry. They want us to have x equals zero, and then continue. Then what we are uh, we gonna get something similar, but the values will be a little bit different. How about that? So then, in this case, here will be zero, one, two, three. That's basically what we have to do. All right, so we're going to go for uh, that one more time. Zoom stat, which is number 9. Once again, we'll get the sim similar values here. And then window. Will be like this. Now. Then uh, the next one is this, right on uh, linear regression equation. So linear regression equation would have been uh, simply going for stat cal number four. Then that uh, this becomes our equation here. 
Now we can uh, import that equation to the calculator. Simply go for y equals, and then go to the VAS, statistics number five, equation, reg uh, regression equation right over here. And that's the value that we end up getting. If you have to graph it, then you will see what's going on right away. Now, we want to project it for uh, 2009. In fact, if you consider 2009, uh, 2009, in fact, will be um, uh, 10 here because we just we just have to subtract it here. Uh, so then, uh, when x equals 10, so we we need to increase the window a little bit all the way up to, uh, what if I were to put it, 11. And then I'm going to go for uh, zoom fit, which is equal to 0. And that's the value that we end up getting. And we want to uh, figure out uh, the number of cases for 2009. That means we want to calculate the value when x equals 10. Then here it was equal to 102.5. Nearest whole, whole number, so then our answer will be 102. That becomes our answer. All right, number four. So we have some sort of an investment going from zero to five years. Now they want us to write the uh, exponential regression equation uh, using two decimal places. So what we're going to be doing is go for the edit. So in fact here, what I can do is I can just extend this one, 4, 5, 380, 395, 4, 11, or maybe I'll just retype it. So we have 380, 395, 411, 427, 445, 462. Alright, and then let's zoom stat, which is number 9. Then you'll get this nice expression. And since I don't know what, uh, we have to erase this one. Now, uh, I want to get the linear equation here, or actually, the most exponential re re regression model. Then first, we need to go for stat. Cal exponential regression model right over there so that's the value that we end up getting over here then our equation is y equals a was 379.9 Two. And then times B is the base, which is 1.03 or 0 0.04, and then to the x power. That's the expression that we end up getting. Now, what if x equals 10? Then the question, uh, then uh, it is asking for the question here. So then to calculate that, we're going to use the calculator once again. Three seventy nine point nine two times one point oh four raised by ten. then this will be the value that we end up getting and uh, they want us to put it to the nearest dollar so then our answer would have been 562 dollars all right number five write a power regression uh, equation for this set of data 
to the three uh, decimal places. Okay, so then let's try to look into that. Same idea as before. First, we have to plug in the values. All right, so you have one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. All right, so there's two, twenty-five, eighty-one, one seventy-five, three ten, four ninety-seven. All right, so a power regression equation. Then we have to go for the stat calc. And here we end up getting uh, to the three decimal places. So here we have y equals a is equal to 2.001 and then x to the b power which is 2.298. Now uh, using this equation predict the bacterial growth to the nearest integer after 15 minutes. So we just have to put 15 in place of x then we end up getting two point zero zero one times fifteen so two point two nine eight then uh, the y will be one Zero zero nine point oh three. So they want us to put the nearest uh, integer, so one thousand nine will be our answer. All right, let's look into this question. Same idea here logarithmic regression for this data uh, to the nearest ten thousandth. So let's try to put this into the calculator first. Alright, so let's plug in the values. 4, 5, 12, 16, 22, 31. And 3, 1, negative 5, negative 7, negative 10, and negative 12. Oops. Actually, we have to put them into the stat. Negative five, actually, here, yeah, negative five, negative seven, negative ten, negative twelve. All right, so uh, lo uh, logarithmic regression. So we're going to go for stat calc. Uh, LN regression number nine is the logarithmic regression regression here. Once again, that. Over here. There it goes. So equation uh, comes down as y equals uh, 10,000th place. So a will be 13.0134 plus b was uh, negative. So I'm just going to put down the negative sign here. Negative 7.3135.
and ln of x. That's the expression that we end up getting here. Uh, what is the wind speed? 50 miles per hour. Uh, when the uh, wind speed is 50 miles per hour, we want to find out the wind chill. Then, all you have to do is plug in 50 in place of x. So here we have negative 7.3135 and multiply that by uh, ln of 50 and plus 13.0134 and that's the value we, uh, we end up getting. Nearest uh, mile per hour, so then our answer will be about 16, negative 16 miles per hour. All right. So uh, we're gonna continue in part two very soon.